everybody, John Wagnon here with Dev Central, and in this video, we're going to talk about a real attack story. So our F5 Silver Line Security Operations Center, or SOC, uh, does amazing work with our customers. And to be honest, some of the attacks that they see, you know, every day are not that interesting. Um, but every now and then, we get a really cool one, and this this is uh, this is one of those. So I want to tell you the story that happened here. Um, so the overarching idea of this story is that a government agency, a government entity, uh, was attacked, and we stepped in and saved the day. Right. So here's what happened. You've got these attackers out there. So I'll put you know attackers over here, and they had a you know a number of these uh, computers, these you know like a botnet with thousands of I'll just put IP addresses here. So. IP addresses in the in the thousands that they are using to launch um, these attacks at this government agency. So I'm going to put uh, just generally speaking government agency. And here in this government agency, there were several different departments. So you've got you know uh, department department X, and you've got department Y, and you've got department. Um, Z, I'll just say, right? Uh, although there were many more than those three, right? Uh, so what happened was these attackers started to launch attacks at this government agency, and it started as um, a fraudulent unemployment claims because, you know, COVID-19, the coronavirus, there's a lot of people, unfortunately, out of work. They're claiming unemployment. These attackers know that, and they come after these uh, unemployment claims, so they're trying to launch fraudulent unemployment claims to, to get money, right? Um, while they were doing that, they were also looking for any kind of vulnerability that they could find within the network of this government organization so that they could take over accounts and, you know, move laterally or escalate their privileges or, you know, just do the whole account takeover thing. All right. So one of the key things about this government agency is they had this central access point that was kind of like this, you know, single sign on type entry point. So I'll just put, you know, here's the, here's the access um, point here that their users would come into in order to, you know, single sign on and then they would go on, you know, to the other departments from there. And so, um, so what these attackers were doing to the central access point is launching credential stuffing attacks at this access point trying to get in, you know, and do that account takeover, uh, but also launch fraudulent unemployment claims. Um, and so... The, uh, the, the mitigation action from this government agency was to block the source IP addresses that were coming in, but these attackers had thousands of these, and they, they dynamically changed the, the IP address um, all the time with different automation tools and all that. So the, the government, they just couldn't keep up. It's like, the, it's like a whack-a-mole, you know? It's like, hey, let's block these. Well, then they pop up over here, block those. So it's this never-ending thing. So they just, that didn't work, frankly. Um, and so what they did is they said, hey, we're going to put Silverline Shape Defense in front of this. Uh, so I'll just put SSD here. That's Silverline Shape Defense uh, in front. And as soon as they introduced that, then it blocked the attack that was coming in from the credential stuffing and the, uh, the vulnerability searching uh, attacks that were coming in on this thing. And that which, by the way, they noticed whenever we put shape, Silverline Shape Defense in line here, we noticed that 99% of the traffic coming into this entire government agency was automated traffic. So, of course, you still have legitimate users out here trying to gain access or gaining access, maybe. Um, but even with that accounted for, we noticed that of all of the traffic that this, uh, that this network saw, 99% was automated traffic. It's a huge problem today. And so what we told this government organization is we said, hey, as soon as we shut down... Uh, their access through this central access point of your network, what they're probably going to do is change their tactics, change their target, and come after other parts of the agency. Maybe like instead of going at the access point, come straight to this department or that department or whatever, right? And that's exactly what happened. So sure enough, a couple of days after we uh, put Silverline Shape Defense in front to do all the automated bot uh, defense for this central access point page, the attackers retooled, they came after some of these departments directly. And so what we ended up doing is we said, hey, government organization, why don't you give us a list of all the departments in your organization and 
what we want to do is at least have knowledge of all of those, and then we can put silver line shaped defense in front of each of these, right? Um, because you can get to these not just through the access, you know, the central access point, you can get to them directly as well. And so what we said we would do, we explained the process of what we would do here. We said, hey, we're going to set up the, set up the different proxies that are involved here, uh, talked them through the SSL certificate uploads, the monitoring that we would do on their different endpoints, and we start off with just like a flag of the different, uh, you know, attack traffic that would come in, and then we, t and then we do testing once we put the silver line shape defense in front of these different endpoints, we do testing through like their QA and test proxies uh, to make sure that their applications are not affected because you still want your applications to be functional, right? Um, and then after we go through a series of that and kind of make sure everything's good, then change the association from uh, flag to block, right, on the actual policy here. And then we test that and make sure everything's still good. And then we roll over uh, to the production um, uh, mode or the production system, but we roll over that whole setup, you know, from the QA and test, uh, uh, you know, staging environment or whatever, we roll that whole um, policy over to production and then we set that in flag mode and we kind of look at that to make sure that, that everything's good and then we finally flip up, flip on the blocking mode. And as soon as we did, and so we ran through that whole thing and then obviously we, we cut over the DNS uh, pointers as well to um, to the silver line proxies. Um, so we did that, we carried out the testing, the configs, we did more testing, several hours, and, uh, and we stopped the attack, frankly. So um, the original plan was that we would turn on like one of these departments at a time, and we talked to the, uh, like the CISO type person at this government organization, um, and we said, hey, you know, rather than just flip the switch on your entire organization, we could go in kind of one at a time, make sure everything's good. Um, but they were under such a huge attack that they said, nope, let's just flip the whole thing. So we did almost 20 of their different uh, endpoints or different network, um, you know, endpoints all at once. And, uh, and because of all that testing, because that whole process we talked about, um, it all worked. And it's, uh, and it's again, they're, they're content and happy today. Um, so the attackers, the, frankly, they moved on to a different target because especially after that first, you know, credential stuffing when we put Silverline Shape in front of this main access point, uh, that stopped their attacks. So they still were trying to come after it, but their traffic just couldn't get through. So then they, like I said, they retooled, they retargeted, and they came back here. But then when we put Silverline Shape Defense in front of all these, then the attackers realized, hey, we do, we are, we're not getting through at all. So let's move on to, uh, to other targets, which is what attackers do, right? So again, you know, automated bot traffic is a huge problem today, and so you need to have something that's protecting this, and Silverline Shape Defense is, uh, is a great technology uh, that'll, that'll block these attacks. So this is, um, this is a, real, it's a real story, it really happened, and, uh, and so it's, uh, it's cool to see how our uh, Silverline Security Operations Center and Shape Defense was able to come in and save the day. So, uh, so hey, thanks for watching this Lightboard lesson video with us today. If you like this thing, click up here on our DevCentral logo and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we'll see you guys out there in the community.